Just going to define the angle of elevation and the angle of depression. So that's the angle of elevation and then the angle of depression. Now, the actual word elevate means like going up. So the angle of elevation is the angle between the horizontal, so the horizontal, and in this case, if you look where the blue dot is there, the horizontal here is the ground level, and then you are looking up to the top of the tree, and we call that the, the line of your sight. So let's just imagine this is like an eyeball, and there's the eyeball, and it's looking up to the top of the tree. And here's the horizontal. So that's the horizontal. This is the line of sight, or where you are looking, to look up to the top of the tree. And the angles from the horizontal going around to the top of the tree. So it's this angle in here. The angle of depression. So when you think of the word depression, what a cough. So depression or depress is going down. So it is the angle between the horizontal once again horizontal. So looking out to the horizontal. Now in this case here, I'm going to make that a blue dot so I can put my eyeball in. Um, there's the pupil and the eyelashes, okay? So if we look at this, if we're looking straight out, that's your horizontal. So we're looking straight out to the horizontal. And then what you do is you look down to the object. So in this case, it's a bow. So it is the, um, I'm just going to separate this. So it's looking down to the object. So where would that be? So if you're looking down to the object, there's the eyeball looking down to the object. But the angle starts at this one here, the horizontal, and you're looking down. So the actual angle that we're talking about is this one here. So it's often mistaken for um, going the one underneath here, but that angle is not from the horizontal looking down. So that one is not the angle of depression. And something else that is really special about the angle of depression is that if you got it and you, um, if you went like this, there's the angle of depression, it's that one there, and this is the angle of elevation in this one, so it's between those two angles. So if you went out to the horizontal, you look down, this is the angle in here. Now, if you decided to draw and keep extending on that, that actually becomes a Z. And this angle here, which is the angle of depression, will equal this angle of elevation here. So that they have the same angle. So the angle of depression from the top of a cliff, looking down to the boat, is equal to the angle of elevation from the boat, looking back up. So if you were looking from here, and you were looking at each other, the angle of depression will actually equal the angle of elevation looking back up. And that's because it forms a Z. And the word when it forms a Z is alternate. And alternate angles are equal. And that's just basically following that rule.